Okay, we are looking at our next strategy, strategy number four, which is to use a number line. And your objective states, how can I subtract multi-digit whole numbers using an open number line? So when would I use this strategy? Well, it works best when you are a visual learner, you can count and add by tens, or when finding the exact answer. We're going to be trying it with this word problem, and I made it a little tricky today because it's a multi-step word problem. Okay, so it says there are 89 students in fourth grade. At the winter concert, I saw 45 boys and 32 girls. How many students were absent from the winter concert? So first, as good mathematicians do, I'm going to circle the key numbers, the important numbers. So I have three numbers today, and now usually we have two. So that's telling me that we're going to be doing something different today. So next, let's find the key words. So first, I see the word and, which is telling us to add. And then, how many students were absent? So that means we need to subtract. So I need to think now, which operation do I do first and which numbers do I use? Well, let's look again at the question. How many students were absent? So students is telling me that we're talking about the girls and the boys. So I need to know how many students that were there first. So we need to add the boys and Girls, and we know that that means plus, and there were 45 boys and 32 girls. So we have our first number sentence to work with. Now, I'm going to use a strategy that all of you are very familiar with. We're not going to use the open number line here because this is really quick to do mental math. 5 plus 2 is 7. 4 plus 3 is 7, so there were 77 students. Okay, so I can see that there were 77 students. And now the next step is to reread that question again to remind us what are we doing? How many students were absent from the winter concert? We said absent means subtract, so the next step is to subtract 89 minus 72. And some of you, I know, can do this with mental math, but we're going to try it with the open number line so we can understand how to use this strategy. So I'm going to label my number line first. Now, because we are subtracting, I'm going to start at the right side of my number line. 89, if I rounded it, is very close to 90. So I'm going to put 90 on my first tick mark, that big black tick mark, because that's telling me that we're going to be counting by tens. And we have 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Now today during class, I asked you to put nine little tick marks between each of our multiples of 10. And I'm going to try to do the same thing now. So I'm going to pause the video and write in my tick marks, and then we'll continue. If you need to pause as well to write in your tick marks, do so now. All right, so I have added my tick marks in, so now we can subtract. So the first thing I need to do with my subtraction is look at and find my first number, 89. So I know 89 is 1 less than 90, so I'm going to put a big X on the tick mark that's right next to 90, and I'm going to label it 89. Now, when we subtract, we need to see how many tens we are moving and how many ones we are moving. So again, we're using expanded notation. So in 72, there are seven tens and two ones. So I'm going to jump by 10 
seven times. So watch as I do. So I'm going to go jump once. I've subtracted 10 and I'm at 79. See if you can find the pattern. Jump again. Now I'm at 69. Now I need to do it seven tens. So I've went once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I can see that I am at the number 19. And now all I have to do is subtract two more ones. So I'm going to cross out one, circle two. So my answer, if I count up, is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And my circle number is 17. So how many students were absent? 17 students. And that is my final answer. Okay, so this one was a little bit trickier because it was multi-step and we're using an open number line, which I know is a little bit tricky. So take your time, review if you need to, and make sure you understand how I did both steps of that word problem. Good luck.